Yeah, it was great. You know, I love playing against uh, great players. I love, you know, she is a great player. She had 15 <coughs> points in the first half for her team. Uh, so I love that. You know, I love that competitive nature between her as well. So it was good. Kevin, you had a number last year. Your, your assist percentage was the highest that's been recorded by uh, by any player at the Division One level since they started recording that stat. That number's down this year, but your turnover percentage is down this year as well. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering how that has worked in terms of change in the team and decisions you've been making on the court. Yeah, so I know that you know, my turnovers needed to go down for the season compared to last season. So I've been really working on that. And I guess I've been a bit safer with my passes. I haven't been forcing anything. And I've been thinking about, you know, thinking about it more on the court instead of rushing and forcing what I think might be there. And I'll just hold it out this season. Um, yeah, so I think, you know, that's helped my turnovers go down. And obviously my assists aren't as high. Um, but I'm not too worried about that as long as we win. Just no, related to that, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, but just, just related to that, on the heels of playing against two players who were talked about at the next level as well, do you uh, think about what your game is going to translate like at the next level and does playing against, you know, uh, Genesco and Sandra Carter help you to get a sense of what your physicality is going to be? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, even in the ACC, um, Asia De, players like that, uh, love playing against them. I do think it helps uh, other people see what I can do against competitive players and great players. And it helps me really understand uh, the things I need to work on in my game to play at the next level. Yeah, one of the things in the second half, both, both your team and also yourself mm -hmm. individually, because it looked like you were a little bit more uh, aggressive in looking for your own shot in the third quarter. Yeah, you know, at halftime, um, wasn't really the result we wanted at halftime. Carter had 15 points, and we had spoken about her before the game. So we adjusted to her, and we came out a little bit more aggressive. And our defense was better when we were guarding her. Uh, she only had three points in the second half. So you know, we changed our defensive. Um, yeah, we changed our defensive like. Uh, things that we were doing. And uh, I think that is what helped us the most. I had a, a coach has said that you guys have made a little bit of adjustment of what where you wanted to catch the ball in the post. And can you tell, tell us a little bit about what that adjustment was and how that sort of helped you today? Um, he wanted me to catch the ball under the basket so I could actually like score. By the way, I do a lot of things because when I, I get the ball under the basket, I do a lot of travel. So I was catching the ball under the basket. And that helped me actually, yeah. Okay, so close, you're in closer yeah. to the basket than you were previously. Yeah. Okay. You had a little high-low action going there too with a couple of the forwards. Is that a play that you guys practice quite a bit? Yes, yes, great, there's a lot. Maya, the way that you guys started the second half, in particular the way Tiana started the second half, did, did you guys feed off of the energy she brought out of the locker room? Because she got off to a great start in the second half. Yeah, I think that, that, I think the fact that she pushed the ball helps us run more and and push too, so yeah, that helps a lot. Maeva, you really started the season kind of splitting time with Amaya. You got more of the bulk of the minutes today. Uh, was that a little bit different for you, and how, how do you think you adjusted to the bigger workload? Can you say that again, please? So you kind of split time with Amaya at yes. the beginning of the season. You played a lot more today mm -hmm. than you have in the past couple of games. How was that for you? Um, I think I've been prepared for that, so that was, I was all right during the game, yeah. Maeva, first career double-double. After sitting out last year, how satisfying was it tonight to kind of get that recognition and, and contribute to a big W for your team? Oh, that's great, but the most important thing is that we won. So yeah, I'm happy about that. Tiana, in the second half, uh, specifically with your match with Carter, it looked like she was getting frustrated and you were, you were fueling off that. Do you agree with that? Do <coughs> you see her getting frustrated? Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I could see her getting frustrated. and. Um, you know, that's just a part of the game, though. You know, things happen. Players get frustrated. You know, it happens. So I think that does help, you know, the offense. Like, whoever's not getting frustrated, it helps them to push harder and dig deeper and want to continue to frustrate that player, um, which I think did help us. It definitely helped us. You know, the coach said before the game that he told you guys this was a must-win game. Mm -hmm. Strange this here in November when you have 35 more games yeah. but did you guys feel that 
Yeah. How good or organized, I mean, this had to be a game you guys going to win. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, after coming off of Oregon, um, losing by two points, and then coming up against the number 20 team in the country, you know, we did need to win that. We, as a team, that was, you know, that's our goal. Every game we want to win. So uh, we did want to win that. It was a <coughs> must win because uh, we want to stay, you know, we want to be one of the best teams in the country. And we want to prove everybody what we can do. And so I think, you know, winning these games, important games, is what matters. Deanna, only nine points at the half and you finished with 17 in the second half. Do you mentally, do you, do you flip the switch or is it just, hey, shots are falling or do you make a conscious effort? I got to put up points, I'm going to take this game over. Uh, not really. I just give, like, do what the defense gives me. So if they're sagging off, I'll shoot the three. Um, yeah, that's, or if they're, you know, up in my grill, I'll take it. But I don't really think about, oh, I need to score now. I need to do this now. Like, I just want to do whatever helps the team. Kelly, you, you have an option that a lot of players wouldn't have, which is that at the end of this year, if you want, you could go uh, to the league. I'm wondering whether that's something you're thinking about or you sort of think of it as a four-year project to prove yourself the way you talked about proving mm -hmm. yourself in the last few games. Um, yeah, I think it's still a bit early to think about what I'm going to be doing after the season. I haven't really thought about it yet. Um, it's definitely on my mind whether to leave or to stay, you know, I'm, but I'm not sure. One more question? All yeah. good. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got so it. Yeah, in the second half, Coach, you're talking about how the team got more physical. How much did your game change from that? How is it any more gratifying when you have end ones like that when you're crafting to the floor? Yeah, definitely. You know, um, when everyone's playing well and everyone's contributing, it definitely helps us individually to want to do well and push the temper of the game. So I think that definitely helped us. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Texas A&M.